Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. Hope all is well with each and every single one of you guys. This is urgent right here, right now. And I need y'all to turn your volumes up. I need you to focus. If you got any TVs on, turn them off. If you got any phones on, put them on mute, something. You got to hear this right here now. If you were to die right now, at this time, would you be with the Lord or would you be burning and burning and burning and burning? There are people who believe that they're on their way to heaven. And let's be truthful. Let's be truthful. Many of us don't realize just how close we are to the lake of fire. There are people who at one point said that they were following God. And because of a few things that happened to them at a church event or whatever, they go from following God to following commit or following God to becoming a witch or following God to being a Hebrew Israelite or following God into being an atheist or following God into being homosexual or following God into walking in the street selling dope or whatever. Whatever the cause may be is causing them to fall away. We know second Thess second Thessalonians. Yes, yeah, 2 Thessalonians 2. I had to get my scriptures in my mind right. It's coming to pass. Many folks have started falling away already. But this is a time when you cannot afford to fall away. So many things have happened now. And so many more are, are, are to come. This is not the time to turn your back on the Lord. This is not the time to declare yourself no longer a follower of Christ. This is not the time for you to become a person that says, Oh, I don't need the Lord. And Christianity is the white man's religion. And I don't need to be following all of this. You know what? I'm black. I know I'm saved. Or I don't need to follow all that. I don't follow these faith folk. They all faith. They're doing this, that, and the third. No. Quit being deceived. Quit being deceived. This is the urgency here. Hear the urgency in my voice. Please. There are people... At this moment, as you're listening to this video, as you're watching this video, who are dying and going to hell. Hear me again. There are people at this very moment, as time goes by, that are dying and going to hell. So let's get this point straight now. God is coming. Jesus is coming. People will say, well, Jesus, has been, he, we've been hearing this thing about Jesus coming for years and years and if he ain't came now he ain't never coming stop believing that lie please stop believing that lie all these things are being confirmed read the bible and look at what's come to pass now this is not a game you guys this is not a game as many times as i've seen things have happened the two times Thus far, after this video, that I've seen my hometown get ripped down. Two times my hometown was destroyed in the vision I saw. Other videos where sisters and brothers in the Lord are talking about seeing destruction. The word of God confirming that destruction is coming for this world. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. It's like the days of Noah and Lot right now, and yet people believe they got all the time in the world to come to God that they can live how they want to live and when they get a ripe old age and right when they're knocking on death's door all of a sudden here I am Jesus I'm old and decrepit but here I am time out some of y'all ain't gonna reach that age let's tell the truth some of y'all ain't gonna hit that age some folks ain't gonna be able to hit that ripe old age and even if you hit that ripe old age isn't that messed up? That's like being married and waiting until you're on your deathbed to choose to be faithful to your wife or husband. Ain't that messed up? Serve the Lord the very second you have that chance. The door is wide open, the door being Jesus Christ. But soon the door shall close. Soon the Lord shall close the mouth of the prophets. Soon the Lord shall tell everybody who's been warning folks, okay, They've had enough time. My word is spread to all four corners of the earth. They're without excuse now. Now it begins. Now here I come.
<laughs> well, according to the Lord, according to the will of the Lord, according to the Father, they've had all this time to be warned. Now I'm getting ready to send my son. Jesus is coming. He is coming. And when he comes, he's coming for a spotless bride. And yet many of us are living like filthy, dirty adulterers. And folks will say, oh, you're judging. You're judging. You're judging. But when the great judge judges you upon judgment day, you're going to wish that the Lord, you're going to wish that the Lord would give you more time you're going to wish you heeded the warnings that the Lord was sending through his servants. Hell is no place for anybody. It was only meant for the devil and his angels. And yet because of sin, the Lord said, you know what? I don't want sin in my kingdom. So I'm going to send you there. You guys, you guys, please hear this warning. Anybody who's a, even my close loved ones, I need y'all to hear this. Jesus ain't playing around. And he ain't gonna hear no excuses. Those celebrities you love so much, they're not gonna vouch for you. Those churches that are in error, not the true churches that are after God, those churches that are in error, they ain't gonna vouch for you. Nobody's gonna vouch for you, be honest. It's between you and God. And God is going to judge your life. Every single second from the time you were born to the time you died. God is going to review with a fine tooth comb. And if you have not repented and truly walked in God in spirit and in truth. The very sins that he finds on you will be the very sins that will become them chains that pull you away from him forever. And no, that, that you'll be without excuse. You'll be without excuse. And anybody that's believing that God is going to spare America, as much sin as America has pulled in, abortion being legal, weed being legal, abominable marriages being legal, heed this warning. Anybody who's listening, not just in America, but anybody who's listening to this, heed this warning. Soon God is going to come. The Antichrist is going to show his face soon enough. And when he shows his face, you got a choice. Take the mark of the beast and burn. Or don't take the mark, possibly suffer if you haven't escaped already. Don't take the mark. Seek the Lord. If you face death, you're willing to die for Christ. You're willing to die for Christ. If you're willing to suffer for the Lord, you're willing to suffer for the Lord. If you're able to escape and be safe until the Lord returns, praise God. But you got that choice. Serve God or don't. But those who don't are going to be without excuse. No blood on my hands. I want to make sure I warn you guys. No blood of the saints or the sinner on my hands. Heed this warning. Jesus loved you so much that he shed his blood on the cross so that you can be forgiven and you can be saved from the wrath of God to come. That sin you love so much ain't worth it, y'all. That sinful TV program you're looking at ain't worth it. That drug you partaking in ain't worth it. That adultery you about to get into ain't worth it. That homosexual relationship ain't worth it. That weed you about to smoke ain't worth it. That anger you feel for somebody ain't worth it. That unforgiveness you have for somebody ain't worth it. That pastor that's in air that you love so much ain't worth it. That celebrity that blasphemes God like no problem ain't worth it. Nothing is worth you missing out on heaven. Nothing is worth you missing out the new heaven and new earth. Nothing is worth you losing salvation for. And yes, heard me right. You heard me right. You can lose salvation if you choose to walk in disobedience. Even after you said you give your life to Christ. If you've backslidden and never came back to God, you can lose salvation. Come back to God if you've backslidden. 
Come to God if you've never come before. Stay in God if you're walking in him now. Jesus is coming. And those who are against the Lord, he shall slay with the sword that proceedeth out of his mouth. The word of God. My Lord Jesus, heed, heed this warning, you guys. God is serious. He ain't for jokes. He ain't for play. Do you want to be saved or do you not? Do you want to walk in God or do you want to burn? My Lord, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because when he comes, it's showtime. God bless.